I think in the case of ISIS that the news media is focused on the role of women and that it's viewed as an aberration when in fact it's not that uncommon in certain terrorist groups and women have provided the bulk of fighters across a number of different types of terrorist movements. But it always seems that it's news or that it's a, that it's a big deal when I think the reality is very different. I think generally speaking, the counterterrorism community hasn't sufficiently explored uh, the signal roles that women can play in countering terrorism. We know that women around the world uh, would rather be uh, peacemakers than bystanders. If we create safe spaces so that the mothers who see what's going wrong, that they can safeguard their families and their children, then I think we will have uh, in place a community-based long-term uh, prevention and intervention strategy. So we're seeing a really vast range of roles that women can play in prevention. A lot of people talk about the roles of women as mothers, but we're also seeing women as police officers, women um, you know, as peacekeepers and military and in different areas of frontline officials. Look at a film like Zero Dark Thirty, which truthfully is about a woman CIA agent that played an absolutely essential role in tracking down Bin Laden, but that wasn't at all uncommon. Women are already doing this work in very uh, often informal, maybe even adversarial environments where they aren't getting a lot of support, whether it be resources or training or political support or protection. There's a lot more we could do. And I think this is a big challenge that we, uh, as women realize that we have the power to intervene, uh, to uh, make a difference, but uh, we have to take this power.